So it's Phil, and I am at the AV Pro booth with Aaron. So Aaron, what are we showing today? So we're showing the uh, fiber extension kits. Mm -hmm. So these are our new HDMI extenders that uh, use fiber as opposed to Cat6 or Cat5 for extension. Mm -hmm. And the reason for this is the resistance to uh, EMI and interference and things like that. Um, so that way we're able to achieve very long distances, but also really high bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So these extenders support up to 48 gigabits per second uh, of HDMI communication, mm -hmm. as well as with the Plus Kit, we've added then eARC, uh, USB, and full gigabit Ethernet extension. So this mm -hmm. is super, super useful for getting a full gigabit Ethernet connection, a wired mm -hmm. Ethernet connection, all the way to a display from, say, an equipment rack or, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, so this is great for projectors because you yeah. need to run of course the video signal, yep. and now people are looking want to do 4K 120 and things yes. like that. Yep. Plus you need your, your maybe an ethernet connection if it's a smart projector, yep. and then you, you, may, you may also use USB for the built-in media players mm -hmm. or, or control or things like that. Absolutely, you get so, it. So sure. having it all together. I've always been a big fan of, of fiber, mm -hmm. just because you can start with these extenders and, and put the fiber in the wall, yep. but in the future, if all of a sudden you need 96 gigabits per second, yep. you just basically need to just upgrade your extenders at the end. Yes, exactly. You're not pulling brand new infrastructure, essentially, or brand new wires. Mm -hmm. If the glass is there, it's just a matter of the lenses and you know the, the frequencies at which the light's being uh, processed is, is, is really exactly. what gets us the And this is a, a classic example of that, because I remember a couple of years ago, when you guys first introduced your first fiber extender, it was like 18, because yeah. that was the dream, you know, 4K yeah. 60 <laughs> yeah. for HDR, yeah. um, and then people ran to have the fiber in the wall, and now you're at 48. Yeah. So this is a classic example of the, kind of the buy once, cry once, when you talk about pulling the wires. I, I actually really like that. Well, that buy once, cry once. once, cry once. Yeah, I, I pull love the, that one. Because, yep. yeah, you don't want to go back in the wall. Yep. Do it so right being the first able time. to yeah, do it right the first time <laughs> and being able to go back in here and, yep. and add the extenders. Yep. So I'm pretty excited to, to actually see this piece and hopefully I get a chance to play with it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay, Aaron. When it comes to test pattern generators, Meridio has been the go-to standard forever. Like starting with the with things like the 6Gs, yep. 7Gs, but these can be a little big and cost prohibitive yes. for some for um, for some integrators. So now you have some new pieces. So what are yeah. those? So these are the Meridio sticks. Mm -hmm. So these are, I would say, we'll call it pocket size, USB memory stick size, mm -hmm. uh, analyzers and generators. Mm -hmm. So these little guys can actually support all the way up to 8K resolutions, mm -hmm. down to 720, mm -hmm. uh, HDR, all of that kind of stuff. So this is as easy as it is plugging into uh, an HDMI sync or, or source uh -huh. and be able to either generate or analyze a signal with a pocket size USB powered device. Okay. Okay, so how do you control it? So is that, so basically this goes into your computer? So what you can do is actually drive the entire user interface uh -huh. with just a single button click. So oh. it actually navigates So it's completely entire... standalone? Yes, absolutely it is. Okay. All right, so it's completely standalone. Mm -hmm. So I can go in there, I can change my pattern. Yep. Change, but how many, what's the resolution on these? Goes all the way up to 8K? All the way up to 8K, yep. That is amazing. Now, what are these, what are these gonna be, um, what is the kit, the pair? So the pair, uh, you can either get them both for uh, 500 list or uh, 250 a piece. And they're just USB-C powered. And we obviously include the cables. Yeah. So you can do USB-A directly into the projector, uh -huh. plug this into the HDMI input, and you're off. Exactly. And, and, and so you could use go. one to test the signal going out to the projector. Yep. Yep. Or if you just have the analyzer, you can just start your Blu-ray player or your or your PlayStation and then and then test that on the other side. Excellent. Absolutely. Okay, that's that is really, really, yep. really Easy cool. Easy end-to-end HDMI workflow testing. Okay. Yep. Okay. So now you have the. So these are called the sticks. The sticks. Yep. So stick A and stick G. Yep. Right. Yep. Then we would go to something like a fox and a hound. Yep. And, and these are AK as well. Yep. And then moving up would be the the. Yes. The, the 6G and the 6A. Oh, by the way, I love the metal box. I have yeah. the, the original plastic, and there's something about the metal. It just right. it just feels Feel right. more <laughs> substantial, yep. and, and it makes you more confident to keep these on yep. your truck. And then moving on from that would be something like a 7G. Yeah, then you get into like really like lab. Lab-based really 7, 7, stuff. Yep, 7G. Exactly. So it's kind of neat to have um, different test solutions yep. at all price points. And um, and a, and a, and with a variety of capabilities. Yep. Yeah. And 
definitely for like field testers and installers and things like that, the sticks are absolutely perfect from a size perspective. Yeah. And then if you really do need more functionality like cable testing mm -hmm. or any more advanced things, you, we've got options to step into something bigger mm -hmm. um, and more fully functional. Yeah. I, all kinds yeah, of I always points. tell every every integrator, if you're going to, you should always um, have to take the junior guy, yeah. have the junior guy test every cable yep. before you put the cable on the truck, right? Yeah. So even if you're thinking about getting a, an extender yep. and you know you're going to put 500 feet Cat 6 on it, perfect. yeah, perfect. test that, have the person put a little green piece of tape on it and then put on the truck because it's better to check it there yep. before you get all the way to the job site and it doesn't, yep. and it's not going to work. Hey, do it right the first time. And, and with these, there's no excuse for you not to actually do that. Yep. Really, really cool. So Jeff, how are you, man? Excellent. Dude, right. um, every time I come to, to a show now, you have a new announcement. That's right, we got a new announcement today. So what is your announcement uh, now? Well, as of Friday, AB uh -huh. Pro Global Holdings uh -huh. includes RTI. Now that, I saw that and that just completely blew my mind. Like last year you added audio control, which yeah. was a great addition to your product portfolio. But RTI, how did that happen? Well, that's the third leg of the stool, if you think about it. Now we have a video distribution, mm -hmm. audio distribution and amplification, uh -huh. and now we have the control aspect. Mm -hmm. So what it's going to enable us to do is, you know, become stronger for some specific applications mm -hmm. because we'll have control of the entire food chain. Mm -hmm. We can route the video, route the audio, but we can do unique things with RTI that we've never been able to do before. Up to this point, we've been completely agnostic and work with everything. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to do that, mm -hmm. but we feel with the, the addition of RTI and their engineering team, mm -hmm. we can really do some magic. Or, or even build build the processing power into some of our current devices and just auto-sense the whole system, You know, especially with AV over IP. Mm -hmm. AV over IP is growing rapidly, as you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of, lot of innovation going on in that space. So we feel that it will help us with that also. It will help us learn more, optimize more. Even It'll even help us make better drivers yeah. to be compatible with, with other control systems yeah. out there. So I'm excited to see what you do with all of these companies together, working together as a team. Our engineers are excited. Our product managers are excited. Everybody's excited to, to see what's next. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you I have all the answers right now. Mm -hmm. This just, it, you know, we, we just did it on Friday. Mm -hmm. so. We're kind of, uh, everybody's just giddy about it. We're mm -hmm. meeting everybody, getting the teams together, getting everybody to communicate. Mm -hmm. And that will follow after Infocom mm -hmm. in the coming weeks. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing a lot of brainstorming and kind of coming up with ideas and then try to prioritize those ideas and build them into great products in the future. Okay, and to learn more about the, the whole, your whole breadth of brands, it would be, um, would that be AV Pro Global.com. Yep. So, yeah, just to learn more about the entire thing, that's what they work up.